Um, Hello everyone, my name's Alan Whitley from Whitley Boats in Melbourne and today I'm up here at the Sydney Boathouse and we're for our Whitley in-house boat show. We've got, some, we've got a fantastic little model behind us, it's our entry level package, it's the Whitley FF 1650, uh, previously known as the John Savage Centurion with some changes that we've made from Whitley. Of more recent, we've upgraded we made a few key changes to this particular model, uh, one of which is that we've upgraded the standard horsepower from 75 to 90. Uh, we've also moved the uh, fuel tank further forward uh, to count on the weight and also put a live fuel tank in the floor and a U-bar seat with a Lesky as well. So we're putting the batteries now in the centre. So what we did is we've moved the fuel tank from being traditionally right down the back in the rear to midship and we've also put a, a quite a large kill tank in under the floor here. Get the removable seat so you can fish right in the back there as well. And without um, the battery, you can get right in. You can get right in, and additional storage there as well. You might know you want to get a fishing tackle bag or something like that under there, you can. Trees, and we made a little cover up for it. That's great. Right in. Look at that. Right. Nice and easy. So the boys are in the middle of putting a, um, a bow rider deck on this particular hull and also the 1950 as well. So I have two different variants that'll come out. Oh, really? Obviously they're a bit more family orientated as opposed to fishing, but we'll do them as a, as a fishing package variant as well. Well, it's a proven John Savage hull. As you know, it rides really well. Uh, it's 13 degree dead rise, fully foam filled. You know, just a fun, fun little boat to drive. This is the original John Savage Mako hull molded in the boarding platforms out the back here. So it acts like two big um, balancing drums out of the back. So it makes a very stable boat for when you get two or three people around the back of the boat fishing. Good size molded kill tank in there as well. So it's a good size, you can climb that up as well. Ent entry and exiting off the boat, we've got a high quality stainless steel custom made ladder. So let's jump up and have a look. You've got a good size kill tank in the floor as well. Obviously got standard, the two U-bar seats, good size esky there, and that esky makes a full length rear lounge. Walk through rear transom door, so really good access in and out of the back of the boat as well. Package comes standard with alloy rocket launches, which is a really, really good feature. Nice black dash, full rubber flooring throughout. And the best thing about the 1950 over 1650 is you've got the full walkthrough for access right up to the front. You don't have to duck down in the beam and go through. It opens right up and gives you good access to the front. We've got the smaller version, the smaller variant, which is the 25 footer. Powered by V8 300 Verado. Then we've got the SL22, which is available on a soft top and a hard top. And uh, then we've got the smaller variant, the SL20, which is only available on a soft top. Is these back to back seats. They're very, very popular. And it gives you access um, to a heap of gear and stuff in there. And it's a great seat as well. So good size dash. You can fit right up to a 16 inch sounder. And the dash trim tabs are all standard. Fusion stereo up here, VHF radio. Sliding side windows, new addition is we made all the windscreens black, so they're quite sharp. It's got a sliding cabin door as well, which is a really good feature. All Sea Legends come standard with a little porta potty up the front, and then also a bunk and field cushion. So you've got a nice big double bed right up the front there. Self draining hole. Self draining hole, this one. Yeah. Good size kill tank down on the floor, big removable bin, which I'll lift up and show you to me. It's a good size wow, um, look at that. kill tank in there, which is great. Uh -huh. Get a small marlin in there. Yeah, what's the plan? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you've got a good sized live bait tank. It's all pumped up, they're all standard on the Sea Legends. Access to all your batteries is what we call via the barn doors down the back here. That gives you access to your batteries and your battery charger and lots of stuff in there. And um, we've also more recently figured out how to run hot water so we can get a hot water system even on, on the, the outboard. Outboard. Correct, even on the outboard. And this one here, what is just a drop down yeah, seat? Yeah, it's a rear it? seat, yeah, for the back. So it just locks right. in like that, which is pretty cool. That's where you take your mate who hasn't paid the full fuel. Yeah. I'm sold. This is going to be my next boat. <laughs> We're working hard. We're doing the hard sell on you. Aye? <laughs> Compliments of Alan. So that's the 22 footer. So it's available. The 25 is only available on a hard top. Yeah. 22 is available on a hard top and a soft top. Um, quite a popular model of more recent has been the outboard variant with the hard top. Uh, but traditionally, very popular stern drive package. Good size um, fuel tank, still 210 litres. Custom made Whitley bait board, we make that in the factory. Um, we've got the rear seats that we spoke about, and then obviously lift up seats, good size kill tank, nice big dash, and good protection from the hard top. Yeah, we sell a lot of 22s, a little bit small, two to toe. And you got the little airflow um, hatch oh. up on top that you can open up to give you maximum airflow as well. You gotta, you gotta get somewhere to put your coffee. Uh, you gotta give me one of these, yes. <laughs> uh? Got an SL20 down there, so it's a smaller, smaller version. And then we've got the 26 footer as well. So, I'll also come down and have a look at both. Go on of there. Them. Yeah, 
Wow, look at that. That is a beast. The, the twins on the back, so four brown side there. It's got a big galley up the front as well. Dedicated port share area. So it's a boat that you can spend a lot of time on, um, you know, overnighting and stuff like that. Or if you want, it's a it's a true hardcore fishing boat, full self draining decks. Factory, it's a seamless hard top. So you can see there's no join in the hard top, so it's a real work of art into how we put it together. Let's have a look inside. Definitely. Wow, look at this. How much room you got? It's fantastic, isn't it? Nice big outboards on the back. We mentioned those earlier with the V6 Merc. Nice big dash with a 16 inch sounder in here. But the main feature up the front here, John, is the stove, fridge, and sink. And then in here as well, you've got a little toilet. This is like a mini caravan on water back. In many ways, it's the ultimate boat. What's that clear is there? That's the um, live bait tank. Live bait tank. Yeah, so you can see a, see a fish from here around there. Oh, very nice. A bit overkill for me, but hey. <laughs> Depends what you want to do. You can see really good head height. I'm quite tall, but really good head height throughout. Nice bar to hang on to as well. Good size kill tank in the floor. And this one is self-training hole. It is a self-training. 20, 26 and 25 have a self 